All right, so it is Thursday. One more day left in the week, guys, and you guys have been killing it. So our skill for today is K4, identify supporting details in informational text. Informational text just means text that contain information. So let's get right to it, and I'm going to give you guys a full disclaimer. As you can see, this one is a little bit reading heavy. So we're going to do about three of these together. So it says, select the best evidence to support the statement that's not always easy to tell when a flood occurs. Okay, this sounds a little tricky. So we're going to read the directions again just to make sure we understand it. Select the best evidence to support the statement that it's not always easy to tell when a flood will occur. So I'm still kind of having a little trouble understanding what they mean by this. So because of that, I'm going to click up here and do learn with an example. Learn with an example says select the best evidence to support the statement that in the 1800s, a law made it easier for magazine companies to do business. At the turn of the 20th century, short stories were, preferred, were a preferred form of entertainment in the United States. This was a boom time for magazine publishing, owing in part to developments in offset printing technology as well to the Pro Postal Act of 1879, which had granted magazine discount which had granted magazines discounted mailing dates. Publications such as Ladies Home Journal, The Saturday Evening Post, and the, delen the delineator, delineator, whatever that word says, all of which published short stories sold more than half a million copies per issue. The authors of these stories are well known at the time, were well known at the time and were and often well paid. So, key idea, when making claims or other arguable statements in your writing, you should support them with specific details like facts or quotations. These details are sometimes called supporting evidence. For example, when writing an essay about the history of the English language, you might support a claim by using a specific fact from a research study. Claim, although English is a Germ Germanic language, it has been heavily influenced by Latin, supporting evidence. A 1973 study showed almost 30% of English words come from Latin. The solution, the text in bold best support the statement that in the late 1800s, a law made it easier for the magazine companies to do business. So what's in bold? This was a boom time for magazine publishing owing in part to developments in offset printing technology as well as the Postal Act of 1879, which had granted magazines discounted mailing rates. So that bold part is the best evidence that supports what made it easier for magazine companies to do business. So let's go back up to practice, and we're going to read the directions again just to refresh our memory. Support... Select the best evidence to support the statement that it's not always easy to tell when a, flood, when a flood will occur. So basically, we're looking for information that will tell us that it's not always easy to know when a flood will occur. So, floods are one of the most common hazards in the United States. Flood effects can be local, impacting a neighborhood or community, or very large affecting entire river ba basins in multiple states. However, floods are not alike. Some floods develop slowly, sometimes over a period of days. But flash floods can develop quickly, sometimes in just a few minutes and without any visible signs of rain. Flash floods often have a dangerous wall of warring water that carries rocks, mud, and other debris and can sweep away most things in its path. So again, we're looking for... The statement that says it's not always easy to tell when a flood will occur. And I think some floods develop slowly. So I think we're going to cross our fingers to make sure this one is right because this one is a little tricky for me. Some floods develop slowly, sometimes over a period of days. So let's see if that is correct. Nope, 
Okay, so the best answer would have been, but flash floods can develop quickly, sometimes in just a few minutes and without any visible signs of rain. So now reading that, that makes the most sense. So let's see what we got. Select the best evidence to support the statement that in the, so we just did this one as our study one. So select the best evidence to support the statement that in the 1800s, a law made it easier for magazine companies to do business. And this is it right here. If you remember from when we did the practice, this was a boom time for magazine publishing owing in part to developments in offset printing technology as well as to the Postal Act of 1879, which had granted magazines discounted mailing rates. All right. So number two, select the evidence. Okay. Select the best evidence to support the statement that in nature, sweet foods are more likely to be safe and nutritious than bitter food. Mm, very interesting. Primates, I learned, love sweets for reasons that are simple enough to explain. Sweetness is the natural sign of ripeness and the best assurance, especially when balanced with just enough acids, that the thing you're eating is good to eat. Yet, the picture is more complex. The primate instinct for sugar is particular, adjustable, and sometimes seasonal. The lesser mouse, Lemur of Madagascar, a gourmet among monkeys, raises its threshold during the rainy season so that when sugars are less abundant, it requires less sweet. So this is asking us, find the statement that states in nature Sweet foods are more likely to be safe and nutritious than bitter foods. And I believe that this is the best supporting evidence. Sweetness is the natural sign of ripeness and the best assurance, especially when balanced with just enough acids, that the thing you're eating is good to eat. Okay. Select the best evidence to support the statement that the first electrical cars had several drawbacks. So remember when we talked about drawbacks, that's just negativities. In the late 1800s, there was a race to invent the horseless carriage. Coal was too heavy to use for fuel, so people tried other things, including natural gas, gunpowder, and something we now think of as modern batteries. For a while, batteries seemed to be the answer. By 1897, New York City had a fleet of electric taxis, and in 1899, the world land speed record of 68 miles per hour, 109 kilometers per hour, was set in an electric car. But the batteries were heavy and cumbersome relative to the power they supplied, and they burned out if you, dr if you tried to go too fast. So the best evidence would be this last sentence. It's just really clear. They were heavy. It was um, basically it was too much work versus the actual power that they supply. And if you even tried to go too fast, they burned out. OK, so we're going to do one more together. This one says select the best evidence to support the statement that allergies can vary in their severity. Allergies, in, allergies are the sixth leading cause of ironic, of, sorry. Allergies are the sixth leading cause of chronic illness in the U.S. More than 50 million Americans suffer from allergies each year. Allergies are an overreaction of the immune system to substances that generally do not affect other individuals. These substances or allergens can cause sneezing, coughing, and itching. Allergic reactions range from merely bothersome to life-threatening. Some allergies are seasonal, like hay fever. Allergies have also been associated with chronic conditions like sentence and asthma. Anyone may have or develop an allergy from a baby born with an allergy to cow's milk to a children who gets poison ivy to a senior citizen who develops hives after taking a new medication. So this is asking us to find the best evidence that support that allergies can vary in their severity. And I think. Let's look over some information. OK, 
Okay, so this one might be a little, a little harder one. I'm thinking it may either be allergic reactions range from merely bothersome to life-threatening or this last sentence here. We're going to go with this one because I'm thinking this may be All right, so always go with your gut, guys. So what I had, what I originally thought was the correct answer, this was it. So we're going to move on. We're going to do one more together. Select the best evidence to support the statement that ancient civilizations used their knowledge of forces to move massive objects. For thousands of years, people have recognized the importance of forces. Even if they do not fully understand them, they have certainly known how to use them. Fantastic monuments like the pyramids in Egypt, the statues of the statues on Easter Island, and Stonehenge in England were built because our ancestors had developed an understanding of how to use forces to make work easier. That process of using forces to make life easier continues today. You can see it in action around you in everything from and from a can opener to a scooter from the family car to a to a pair of scissors. So this is saying what is the best evidence that supports that supports that ancient civilizations use their knowledge of forces to move massive objects. So Fantastic monuments like the pyramids in Egypt, the statues on Easter Island, and Stonehenge in England were built because our ancestors had developed an understanding of how to use forces to make work easier. All right, so that is the last one that we'll do. Like I said, I know this one was even a little tricky for me, but again, I'm pretty sure that you guys are sm you guys are very smart and can and are more than capable of getting to that 80 on your own. So if you're watching this video, use this video as a guideline to help you. One more day of the week, and I will see you guys Friday. Love you all.